Faith in Indiana's Black Church Coalition clergy and families continue to demand accountability after IMPD harmed two men. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson has been following both of these cases closely. She's in studio with us tonight. And Rachel, both of these families want the officers involved to be charged? They do, Nicole. And today, the faith leaders announced they're calling on the Federal Department of Justice to come in and investigate. We're sick and tired of being sick, and to matter of fact, we're damn tired of what's happening in our community. Flowers, pictures, and a sign saying we will not forget are now placed in front of IMPD's North District Station. We are standing and we are demanding justice from the mayor of the city of Indianapolis, from the chief of police, and from the prosecutor. Justice for Herman Whitfield III. On April 25th, 2022, his parents called 911, requesting an ambulance because their son was having a mental health crisis. Body camera footage shows Whitfield was tased twice, yells he couldn't breathe, and goes limp. He died shortly after. This night we needed help, and IMPD let us, let us down drastically. The family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city of Indianapolis and the six officers involved. I would just like for the officers to be held accountable. I would like them to be fired. Faith leaders are also demanding justice for Anthony Macklin. His grandmother called for help on December 31st, 2022, because she didn't recognize the car in her driveway. IMPD says officers arrived and found Macklin sleeping inside with the visible gun. Three minutes later, officers knocked on the passenger window to wake Anthony up. He moved. That's when IMPD says officers fired around 30 shots at him. Then they all start shooting. The shots went on and on. I started to scream. <sighs> Anthony survived the shooting, but says he's still struggling mentally. Faith leaders and the families do not believe the investigations are being handled fairly. We don't want excuses, which is what we've been given. We want action now. And we want these officers fired. This is the first step to uh, our community feeling safe from the individuals who were, who were sworn in to serve and protect. No officers have been charged in either case. IMPD says it cannot comment during pending litigation. The mayor's office says it sends its condolences to the families, but it also cannot comment at this time. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office told us today it hopes to have an update soon regarding whether or not criminal charges are warranted in the Whitfield case. And Rachel, you mentioned in the story that Faith in Indiana has reached out to the DOJ for help. What exactly are they asking for? Well, the clergy says the investigation is taking too long mm -hmm. and they want the Department of Justice to come in and investigate whether or not the officers followed the proper policies and procedures. All right, Rachel, I know you'll keep us updated. Thank you.